the death of Bishop Vincent Darius on April 26, 2016 at the Bellevue Hospital in New York set in motion a period of mourning for the local Grenadian Catholic Church and the rollout of an elaborate series of religious rituals that tend to commemorate the passing of the head of a national congregation. Father Kevin McBrien, a personal friend of Bishop Darius, sought to make sense of the bishop's untimely passing in his homily. And as much as he cared for all of us, we all cared for him. And particularly over these last years during his debilitating illnesses. We pray for our bishop. We pray for his health and well-being. Reaching from Grenada to here in New York, to all his friends and supporters in Ohio, to his brother bishops in the Antilles Episcopal Conference, and countless others he met and worked with over the years in so many different places, like in Africa, Puerto Rico, and St. Louis, Missouri. Vincent Darius, a son of Croshu and Pumrose in Grenada, holds the history-making distinction of being the first Grenadian to be appointed to the head of the Grenadian Catholic Church after his 2002 ordination. Darius was ordained a priest in his native Croshu in 1987 and holds an honorary PhD from his alma mater, the Central University of Bayamon in Puerto Rico. Darius died in the early morning hours on April 26, in the presence of his immediate and extended families. But suddenly a day would come when all of us would have a My friends, life is a journey from the moment of conception death. But we believe that death doesn't have the final word, that there is life after death. I think there is life after death. He should tell us about how we live our lives. The appointment of a new bishop in Grenada will follow a very ancient and secretive process of the Catholic Church in which the Pope, in tandem with the Archdiocese of Castries and the Diocese of St. George's in Grenada, will select from a short list of priests the most appropriate person to fill the role of Bishop of St. George's. Reporting from New York, this is Kellen Bubb.